Hello and welcome back to our channel. Maybe you've been already in this situation, you just bought your new uh, laptop and you didn't really watch what's your keyboard. At home you notice uh, an important key is missing, for example for print. That's why our question, would you know how to remap keys permanently, for example to give this function to another key? Yes, with a uh, free program Sharp Keys. Um, to use it, you have to install it first. Uh, we put uh, the link to download the small program in the description. And I recommend to download this MSI uh, file that's uh, quite small, 500 kilobytes. Uh, I have it here in uh, this folder. And uh, we just start it. And then say next. Okay, just for me here on this account. Next, next, and then we have to wait a second. So the installation has finished. Um, I will go here and get the uh, link, uh, op file location, and drag this here to get it. So, and we start it for the first time. And we will have a look at the program in the next section. Okay, let's say you have exactly a situation that you have, if you don't have a print on your keyboard, but another key, for example, scroll lock, what you never uh, use. So how can you uh, overwrite the two keys? Um, you have to open sharp keys, go to add, and then I explain it here on this, in this one. Uh, on the left side you have mapped this key, that means which is the new key you want to use. And on the right side to this key is the original function, the original key you want to use. So then we can search for the new key here. But easier is to type key and then press the scroll lock. And on the other side we want to use delete as the original function, the same uh, procedure type key and then I press delete. Okay. Okay. So uh, to um, the next step is to write the information into the registry. And it says you have to reboot before it uh, the changes take effect. And that's what we do at next to reboot our PC. So we are back. And uh, we want to test it now. So I open here just a Google search and we want to um, snip or make a screenshot of our screen. Um, I test it at first and I press instead of print this scroll lock and you see it on the right side, there is print screen. It worked very fine. It also works uh, with a combination of alt and uh, print so I do this and just to make a screenshot of this window I go into Word and uh, control V and I can insert uh, my printing here and it worked very well. Uh, how can you undo your changes? Um, you go here in the program and then quite easy, you say delete. Um, if you want to save it for uh, uh, later, uh, then you can save your uh, settings here in a txt file. But if you say I don't ne never need it again, then just delete and say again, write to registry and then reboot and then it's back to its old state. So we are back on the link we gave you at the beginning and here are some uh, hints what's possible and what's not with the program. And uh, it says for example you can't overwrite in some cases the F keys or the Logitech uh, buttons you can't overwrite. Um, it also says to protect you from yourself you can't overwrite the delete key uh, to uh, press Control or delete. But we will see in a moment if it's really not possible.
So now comes the part where my son was looking forward most uh, to play a prank to a friend or to a colleague. Um, let's say um, we overwrite the important key delete with another key so that the other person can't log in into Windows anymore. How can we do it? The same procedure, uh, but this time I will show it we will exchange the functions. Uh, this is the German role and this is a, a scroll lock in English and we will exchange the two keys. So how we do this? At first, the same procedure as before. Uh, the new key is this uh, scroll lock and here on the other side we have the delete. Okay, and then vice versa the same procedure that we're here the new key uh, we press uh, delete so and it here delete and on the other side the scroll lock okay so and it's just uh, exchanging we say write to registry and then the same procedure that we have to reboot uh, to make it uh, come into effect. So we are back and if I want to start the task manager now or even log in in Windows I have to press Control Alt and the scroll lock and then I can start the task manager and you can imagine it's also a big danger if the other do the person doesn't know what you did uh, he or she can't log in into Windows anymore Okay, it could try many other keys, uh, but if you change, for example, control and uh, delete, then there are so many combinations, it's no way back and you could crush Windows with this. Yeah, that's all for today. Thank you for watching about this topic, uh, modifying the registry. Um, I think we will do another video how you can uh, automatically create system restore points and how to create a USB stick which is able to boot that you can recover all your stuff, all your old registry in case something is missing or something goes wrong. So uh, when the videos are ready we will put the link here on the top right corner.